It's a lot harder than people think. It's kind of like a nine to five job. I wake up every day and I immediately warm up and then play scrims against other professionals until super late at night. And I'll watch a TV show and go to bed and repeat that every single day. Yikes. <laughs> uh, you Boys, let's go. That's oh, oh, you guys are rich. So it feels no different. I mean, I, uh, I don't know. Being millionaires, I, I really don't know. Like, I'm not gonna do anything different. You know, maybe I'll buy some nice things, but uh, I'm just gonna keep playing. Boys and girls, Jonesies, Bonesies, and everyone in between, welcome to the Fortnite World Cup Finals. This is the moment we've all been waiting for, 10 weeks of qualifiers, and it's all coming to life, and this is what we're here for. Yeah, so the night before, we had a great dinner with Nate and Jackson, and I was just, I was so ready. I've been so ready. I knew we were going to do well. We always do. I wasn't nervous because of the people. I was nervous because I always put pressure on myself to do well in these events. Although that seems like it's a bad thing, I really accept it and I kind of love the pressure because it makes winning just that much better and it makes losing make you want to win just that much more. We have the 50 best duo pairings. They will be going at their share of $15 million in the prize pool. It's about the title. They want the crown of being the first ever duos world champion. Like as you're walking down, you can slowly and slowly see like the stage and the crowd and just how of a magnitude of an event this was. It was surreal, it was definitely cool. It was definitely, I brought it all in. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of indescribable, but at the same time, I wouldn't say I was very phased by it at all. I was just really ready to compete. I woke up and I was like, let's go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Fortnite World Cup Finals duo competition begins right now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here you have cease and elevate. They have not, quiet. they haven't found the rhythm. They ha they've been a little quiet, man. Uh, they won WSOE, a great duo that has had success in the past, but this has just not been their game so far. Got to get something to turn it around. The talent is certainly there. I think I saw someone on the Fortnite competitive Reddit mention, why is no one talking about Cease and Elevate? And I think it's just important to note that in order for us to talk about it, they got to start doing some things. And I think games one and two has not been their game. We've had two super awful games. Game one was a little monk s, if I can say. We dropped Sunny Steps and our plan was to get rid of all their loot, so eventually they would force a fight with us, our other team. They pretty much had some crazy energy and they just rushed us. I just got crossfired to death. It was definitely a pretty horrible way to start out. So match two, Elevate gets minigunned out of the sky before he lands, which is very unfortunate. It's something you can't really counter because it's a minigun. If it was like a deagle or something, then maybe, but it was a minigun, so pretty strong. After the first two games, we actually had a restroom break, but I'm pretty much like thinking about like what we can do better. We need to wake up because all our comms were just really calm and quiet. We had no energy at all. We were just like sitting there playing the game. Whatever happened, happened. And I really need us to get antsy and excited. So I immediately, when I walk in, I just like start hyping them up. I started giving speeches. I really need to get us, our heads back into the winning mindset. And so when I got back from the restroom, I was immediately sat down with Cease and I was like, we're still in this. Right now we can turn this around. All I need is four good games. All I need is three hours of 110% of Fortnite. I think it kind of really changed our comms in the sense that we were really ready to go in that next game. I was trying to keep us hyped up, not sad about like past deaths and I knew like after that that we really were gonna start making a run. 
Let's see who's going to get that much closer to raising the trophy. Elevate and see. They just need that moment to pop up to elevate. What? What a shot there. Ronaldo and Ziff are just nearby, though. Looks like they've heard the commotion. They're getting closer. I think Ronaldo called it like, dude, it's a 1v1 against Elevate or something, probably. They don't think I'm a good fighter. They think I'm more like an IBO and a smart brain. And they felt confident because Cease was down. Ziff is the target of the server at the moment, as everywhere he moves, he cannot seem to catch a break, but... I thought the crowd booing when he was running away was me backing off and disengaging. And then I realized, like, probably Ziff, like, is near me. The box he was in was on the right, and then I just edited and just pumped him. Now let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, and Ziff is out of here. Boom, you cheated. <laughs> Cease and Elevate decided to drop down low because I believe they're out of builds. Down goes Cease. Elevate now weak as well. Going into the final game, I pretty much like looked at Cease and I was like, this is our, our game. Like, we're so close. We are literally so hot right now. We've played every game really, really well, individual or as a duo. I looked at the standings and I knew if we were getting the same points that we had the last four games, then we'd be top five guaranteed. And I knew if we won the game, we would win it all pretty much. I think we're only like six or seven points behind first. This is the game where we go 110% at it's 30 minutes, and we can make millions off of it. Fortnite World Champions. I cannot believe we've made it here. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. $15 million on the line here. Three, two, one. Two players left. We're down the top 15. Cease and elevate. The last duo alive in this game. Aqua with one, but he goes down. Cease and Elevate, they're currently at four total eliminations. Cease goes down, Elevate with an elim. I checked the leaderboards and my heart dropped. So I looked at the leaderboard, it was like, you know, first, second, third, and there we were, and I was like, there's no way. There's actually no way. So I waited and waited, and I didn't believe it until the announcement came up, and I saw it. I was like, what is going on, dude? That's insane. For how terrible of a start we had, I was really proud that we were able to like really pick ourselves up by the bootstraps and bring us back into the tournament. And I like, checked the leaderboard and said we were third. Like I was like, this is an update. Like, there's no way. I thought we'd be like fourth or fifth. And then he was like, no, we're third, third. And then I, like, I just looked over him, and I was like, I love you, man. I like gave him a hug, and uh, yeah, I put my Canadian flag on the back. I was pretty hyped. <laughs> oh, <laughs> awesome, dude. What happened? Yeah, we're trying to get You're a millionaire. Oh my god. First thing is we got third, and I celebrated, and then I looked how much, and. It was pretty insane amount, like 1.8 million for that. Elevate was freaking out. I mean, he was in his head. He was going crazy. He was talking, you know, we got 1.8 million. He was trying to calculate it. What's 1.8 million, you know, divided by two. 900K, we got 900K. And I was like, there's no way. There's no way. So we waited and, you know, we saw the leaderboard and there it was, 1.8 million. Yeah, I mean, Arkham deserves everything. Like, he's a great kid, and he's insanely, insanely talented. Like, he's gonna, he's gonna go out and win big things, so I'm excited. Yo. Hey! Boys, let's go! Bag secured! Let's go! Let's go! You guys are rich! No, I'm just kidding. Seriously, Dude, I told you, bro, I was like, we Wait, you guys pop the Oh man, congrats, bro. Only Orbit 2 in the top 5. Dude, I'm so happy for you guys. You guys just Oh! Pay your taxes, pay your taxes. Hey, oh. hey, let me tell you how hyped me and Matt were getting next to each other. I was freaking out. Congrats. Hey, nice to meet you guys, man. Great job. Great job. You guys are good. Good job. 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 Good Getting to see like the whole like 
team and everyone that watched and cheered us on was amazing. Let's go, baby! Congrats, man! Yeah. Get over here. You guys are absolutely I think that like being surrounded by all those great people and you know being cheered on, it was just, I mean, I'll remember that for the rest of my life. Being on a great org like 100 Thieves for me, it kind of like doesn't put pressure on me, but it makes me want to perform like even better than if I was just a free agent. It gives me an extra like level of motivation. And this surprised me with the Rock of the Third Place Trophy. It was pretty exciting. I didn't think I would get a trophy for third. I didn't expect, like, I don't know why it needs to be that heavy, but <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's definitely gonna be cool wherever it ends up. I don't really know, but it was pretty cool to actually get something to like remember the day. So yeah, I didn't expect to get a trophy. Obviously, I just saw first place. And then when they gave me the trophy, I mean, it's honestly something that I wouldn't trade for the world. Like getting third place, thank the Lord I did, didn't get fourth. That trophy is so like, it's big. I mean, it's, that's something to commemorate for the rest of my life. The performance that I did and what happened this weekend will always be there in a trophy. To think of what if in the first two games, I don't know, it's kind of like bad mentally to do that because in a BR, you're always going to have those what ifs no matter what the situation is. So like in the week we didn't qualify, if we always were thinking like, what if I killed this one guy or what if C's didn't get this glider bug, I don't think we would qual the next week. So I think of those what ifs of course, but I don't really care about them anymore because I realize that the things that really matter is like, what if I practiced more, not what if I killed one more guy. Seeing my family after I won was insane. I had, They'd cried before when I qualified and they were extremely happy for me and then they were just in tears. Like having my whole family support me and understand what I do, watching and cheering me on is just, it's crazy. I really can't thank them enough for the support. When I went upstairs and saw my dad and my brother, they pretty much gave me like a huge hug. They're very proud and in the hotel room after, they were just talking about, my dad was like, I'm so glad I let you do this because when I back when I brought him his plan saying I want to be a professional video game player, he was actually accepting of it. I think he was just really proud and it made me really happy because I think a lot of the things like growing up for me were just trying to make my parents proud and my parents happy. It's really, really nice to see. Yeah, it feels like, it feels really weird that it's over. It's kind of like the last day of school and you get on summer break and that day is awesome and then you wake up the next day and you just have no idea what to do. It's gonna be nice to get a little break in, but I really just can't wait to play another land. There's just no feeling like it just, and it's like, it's not the same like at your house or anything. And just like the adrenaline that pumps through you when you like do a good play or like sadness when you do a bad play. It's just like everything, every emotion is like four times stronger. I just can't wait to really play my next land. Yeah, it feels a little weird, a little saddening. Um, I think that it'll take some time to get used to not having to grind as hard. Obviously, I still wanna improve and be the best, but there's not really like anything that's pushing me right now. I think they made a new announcement, so we'll see how that works. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly ready to just get back, relax, and stream some scrims, because I miss that. Yes, I am Canadian, so I am a millionaire in Canadian. I guess you could say I'm a millionaire, but not really. It's kind of like a weird gray zone, but after next tournament, I'll definitely be a millionaire. <laughs> So it feels no different. I mean, I uh, I don't know. Being millionaires, I, I really don't know. Like, I'm not gonna do anything different. You know, maybe I'll buy some nice things, but uh, I'm just gonna keep playing.